Greetings all, Devious Monkey. No surprise today, I wanna to talk about the Sony ZV-1 and coming up with different ways to give myself more power so I can film longer and make things more convenient. So what I have been doing in the past was I was using one of these power grips. It's basically just a, a, a battery. I think this one's a 6,000 milliamp battery. And then I had put on a ball head and one of these little mini tripod feedy things. And I had been using that. Through all of this and trying everything, of course I had the switch pod, the Crane M2, a couple of different battery grips, the Bluetooth grip. When it gets right down to it for the ZV-1, I have found that the Sony Bluetooth grip has been my favorite and the most convenient and an all around just perfect for, for what I like to do, how I like to do it. Yesterday, what I did was I took this Bluetooth grip and I had put this on the outside of it, which is just another portable power battery. It's a, it's a 5,000 milliamp external battery. I got this at Office Depot. I, I don't know how much it is. I th it might be like 16 bucks if you get it from Amazon right now. But what I do is I go to Office Depot a lot for my day job and I always walk through their clearance stuff. And if I see stuff like this that's on clearance, I buy it. I buy tons of thumb drives, tons of batteries and all that kind of stuff. So I have gotten several of these and they were maybe $5 each. Now, you can never have enough power. So even though I might not use this for the camera, you know, I can throw it in a bag and you know, I've got an extra 5,000. I have a big white one that I keep in my Forerunner. That's 10,000. And you know, again, this one is 6,000. I have another one that I keep my GoPro stuff on. So I'm constantly buying things. But when I put this on the back, I mean, you can see this is kind of sizable and I had to sort of get a, a series of Velcro straps and stuff to try to put it on there. And it wasn't bad, but it was like, man, I really wish that little power bar that I had worked because I had plugged it in one time and I saw that it wasn't powering the camera. Well, I don't know what I did. I must've had a bad cable or something, which of course happens and it didn't work, but this did and so did this. So I thought one more time today, I was like, God, this would be so convenient if that little power brick would work. I'm gonna try it again. And I got a different cable and I plugged it in and it worked. So now this is the setup that I will be using for going forward. So this is an Anker Astro E1. It is a 5,200 milliamp little power bank. And then I got a series of these straps, these little Velcro straps, and I wrapped them around that. And then I wrapped it around up here and then put another one that went across the legs that come out. So I don't really close the legs, so I'm not too worried about that. I mean, I will, I will hold it like this and that way I can real quick set it down. I don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta unflip the legs and all that shit. And I have those little, and let's see if I can get, get it on here so that you can see it. So you see all these little circles? Those are all of those uh, little grippy things that I cut out off of a, of, a, of a big piece of this material that I used for gun grips. So it makes the, you know, the grips on some of my guns a little bit grippier. And I thought, and eh, that might be perfect for this. You know, it's a nice, unfortunately, it's a nice smooth surface on these things and it's a little bit too smooth. So it made it kind of slippery. And I thought, well, what the hell? I might as well clip that stuff out and see how it works. Works like a champ. So all that grip on here is, is perfect. And it really, you're not gonna drop this thing unless you flub it and you drop it. You're not gonna drop it because it's too slippery. All right, so I put on the, the Anker little power brick, which again is 5,200 milliamps. It's another thing, all these were like 15 bucks or whatever. And there are links to the description. There are also links to the, uh, the Velcro straps too. And, and I got that from Gerald Undone. He said, you know, you never have a shortage of these things. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. And, and I have been, so it was a great buy. Those are really cheap. Link to that in the description as well. So that with this little cable, that just plugs up into the camera and boom. And now you can see the lights are on and it's powered and you've got me in there and you can see the little 
icon that shows that the camera is plugged in. So now I've got an extra 5,200 milliamps of power and, and granted this one had 6,000 and I never touched it. And that was after walking around all day filming, opening, closing, opening and closing, all that kind of stuff. And it never ran out of power. So I'm confident that this will not run out either before I'm able to get somewhere and charge or switch a battery or whatever. When people tell you cables don't matter, yes, they do. Not every cable works with every device. You gotta make sure you have the right cable so that it works. Now, as far as any of these things go, you have to make sure that you're buying something that, that is putting out enough power that it will actually power your camera. It might have juice in it, but that doesn't mean that there's gonna be enough for whichever camera you're using. So you gotta make sure you look at the manual and look up what the power requirements are and all that kind of stuff so that you're not buying a shit ton of these and they don't work and then you're all bummed out because you, you, know, you spent money on them and they don't work. But all three of these and, and every other thing I have work well. I did get notice that the small rig cage for this ZV-1 has shipped. So I don't know when I'm gonna get it, but once I get that, then it will look like this, except that I will have the additional cage on there. I don't know if that will change how I mount this. I doubt it because this works really well for me in, in the way that it is. So the only thing that's gonna change on this camera from here going forward is the fact that I'm gonna add the small rig cage. Otherwise, I have finally gotten this to where I want it. So once I get that cage, I will do a final video showing you all the components, how I put them together, how it works for me. I will have everything linked so that you can go out and buy all that shit too. So if you have any questions, drop down below. If you have anything that you want me to test, you know, or, or whatever, you know, you can ask me and if it's within my power and my gear, I will do it. Otherwise, that's it. That's all I got. Thanks for joining me as always. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.